New information tonight in the investigation of a murder of a Wilkesbury man last Friday. 58 year old Fred Boot was stabbed and beaten to death inside his South Wilkesbury home. Now detectives are looking at the possibility that the killer tried to burn evidence by starting a fire later that day inside of an apartment building about a half mile away from the murder scene. Our lead IT team reporter Andy Mahalshik is in the control center to piece it all together for us. Andy? Well, Candace and Nick, investigators tell me that potential evidence may have been overlooked had it not been for a firefighter who saw something that seemed very suspicious at that fire. The IT team has confirmed that this murder investigation is now three-pronged. The murder itself, the arson, and a child custody arrest. Fred Boot was found in a second-floor bedroom of his Donald Court home early Friday morning. He was stabbed and beaten to death. The killer also tried to set his body on fire. Even as law enforcement searched the scene for evidence, just a few hours later, Wilkesbury firefighters were called to a fire call at this apartment house at 95 Maffitt Street. Firefighters arrived here about 1 o'clock on Friday afternoon. They went to a basement for a fire call. They saw burning clothes and footwear. They thought it was very suspicious, so they called Wilkesbury detectives. Detectives came to this location and took photographs of that footwear. And it appears, at least initially, the footprint patterns on that footwear match patterns at footprints here found at the crime scene on Donald Court. We spoke to a resident of Maffitt Street who learned about the possible connection of the fire here to the boot murder when we told her today. I would like to move with my family. I don't feel comfortable here anymore. And the I-team has also confirmed that Wilkes-Barre police are looking into a missing teenager case that could have a connection to the boot murder. 14-year-old Alexa Reyes went missing Friday night. Police found her Saturday with Ronaldo Mercado Jr. in New Jersey. He's now been charged with interfering with the custody of a minor. Mercado lives next door to the apartment complex where the clothing and footwear was burned. Now Mercado remains in custody in New Jersey. He has not been accused of wrongdoing in connection with the boot murder or the arson. Reporting in the control center, Andy Mahal, Chicago News. Andy, thank you.